Hi Callie, I'm here with another princess story. This one's called Sleeping Beauty, Buttercup the Brave. Which horse would you like to ride today? A stable groom asked Princess Aurora one morning. Aurora looked around the royal stable. There were so many horses. It was always hard to choose. But then a fine Polomino caught Aurora's eye. She was the most beautiful creature she had ever seen. Aurora rode the former war horse around the palace courtyard. The horse marched as confidently as if it were the king himself. Suddenly, the princess had an idea. From now on, I think I'd like to ride the same horse every day, she said. What a wonderful idea, Prince Philip agreed. You should have a horse of your own. What's this horse's name? Aurora asked. We call him Brutus, your highness, the groom replied. Oh no, Aurora exclaimed. That won't do at all. I think I'll call him Buttercup. Philip and the groom looked surprised. Er, are you sure? The prince asked. Aurora smiled. Do you like the new name Buttercup? The horse snorted happily. Aurora rode Buttercup around the castle grounds. When the pages blew their trumpets as they rode by, he didn't flinch. When a carriage rumbled past, he stood at attention. When Aurora asked him to jump over a stone wall, he cleared it effortlessly. The next day, Aurora decided to ride Buttercup out to the fairy's cottage. Why don't you let me saddle up Samson and come with you? Philip suggested, looking worried. Don't be silly, Aurora said with a laugh. I grew up in these woods, remember? Besides, I'll be with Buttercup. He'll take care of me. Aurora and Buttercup pranced off, but the moment they entered the woods, Buttercup became a different horse. He began to walk slowly and look around nervously. When some of Aurora's woodland friends appeared, Buttercup tried to run away. What's the matter, Buttercup? Aurora asked. Why, there's nothing to be frightened of. She could hardly believe the change in her voice. He was even afraid to step over a branch. When she asked him to walk through a forest stream, he nearly fainted. By the time she reached the cottage, Aurora was feeling a bit frustrated. How could a horse who was so brave at the palace be so timid in the woods? Flora, Fauna, Merryweather and Merryweather hurried out of their cottage. Oh, what a beautiful pony, Merryweather exclaimed. Aurora sighed. He is beautiful, she said, but, she se but he seems to be afraid, afraid of everything in the woods. I'm sure it will be all right, Flora said. You'll just need to be patient with him, that's all. <clears throat> yes, dear, be patient, Merryweather agreed. But she sounded distracted. She moved closer to the horse. What a nice coat he has. And such shiny hooves, Fauna added. Though he might look even nicer if his hooves were another color, Merryweather mused. Zap! She aimed her wand, and just like that, Buttercup's hooves turned blue. Oh, don't be silly, Flora exclaimed. A horse shouldn't have blue hooves. On the other hand, he might look pretty in pink. Zap! Buttercup's hooves returned to the normal color, but the rest of him turned pink. Quit that, Merryweather cried. Blue, pink, Flora argued back. Zap, zap. As the two fairies argued, the horse changed from one color to the next. Aurora watched her new horse change color. That didn't seem to bother him at all. But when a stray leaf fluttered down, he jumped and snorted as if it were a horse-eating dragon. What was she going to do? She didn't want to give up on him. Buttercup was so perfect in every other way. Soon it was time to say goodbye to the fairies. Aurora did her best to ignore the way Buttercup hesitated at every shadow on the trail home. She had been certain that Buttercup was the perfect horse for her. Now she wasn't sure. Suddenly, Buttercup stopped abruptly. What is, 
What is it this time? Aurora asked with a sigh. Then she looked around the trailhead and gasped in horror. An enormous mountain lion was blocking their path. Aurora's heart pounded as she watched the creature creep closer. If Buttercup could be scared by a bunny rabbit, he was certain to go crazy over a mountain lion. They were in big trouble. To Aurora's surprise, Buttercup didn't panic or try to run. Instead, he stood proudly and puffed himself up to look even bigger than he was. He planted his hooves and snorted angrily at the mountain lion. Then he marched forward and struck out at the lion with his front hooves. Aurora hung on. She was still scared, but it seemed that Buttercup wasn't. Buttercup's lack of fear made Aurora feel braver. She reached out and grabbed a sturdy tree branch. Leave us alone, she yelled at the mountain lion, waving the branch. Or else... Buttercup pawed at the ground and added a fierce snort to back up Aurora's words. When the mountain lion didn't budge, Buttercup leaped forward and pinned its tail to the ground with one hoof. Then Aurora reached out and gave the lion a smart rap on the nose with her branch. The lion let out an embarrassed yowl. Then it yanked its tail free and raced away. Aurora was pleased with herself and with her horse. Buttercup had been brave when it really counted. Come on, Buttercup, she said, giving him a pat. Let's go home. Buttercup snorted again proudly and pranced off. As Aurora and Buttercup neared the castle, a butterfly fluttered past. Buttercup's eyes went wide, and he jumped in terror. Aurora stroked Buttercup's neck and talked to him in a soft voice, reminding him to stay calm. The butterfly fluttered closer and closer, and finally landed right on his nose, which was only trembling a little. Good boy, she praised him. You know, Buttercup, I think we make a perfect team. <laughs>